The most common way to make your robot work more often in FLL is using the technique of squaring up. So why do we square up? First of all, it's easy. It's not hard to program the robot to square up, and as long as you have a flat side somewhere, you can square up in a lot of places. Secondly, you can use this to make the robot know where it is, either in the north-south direction, the east-west direction, and also know where it is pointing. This is very useful to improve the consistency of your robot. Finally, and this is one that a lot of people don't think of, you can use this as a starting point to program a robot program without having to constantly start from the very, very beginning of the program, and this saves huge amounts of time. For example, in my EV3 robot, I had my robot program start from the launch area and go to the museum, and then we programmed going from the museum to basically where the other launch area is, and then finally programmed the final bit of the program, and we were able to do all of these independently, and this saves huge amounts of time programming such a complicated program. When the robot performs the act of scoring up, the robot will drive into the object, and one part of the robot will touch the object it's scoring up on before the other part. But because the robot will continue to put pressure on both parts of the robot, eventually it pushes both sides of the robot into object is scoring up against, aligning the robot to the object. And this is done very, very quickly. To square up, have the robot drive into a wall or a well-secured mission model for a few seconds. Generally, one or two will do, but if you're further away, you can do it for longer. It's very important that we use time to have the robot drive into the mission model or wall, because if you drive into it with degrees or rotations, if the robot is a bit short, it doesn't square up successfully, and if it's too far, the robot will stall. The robot will need flat surfaces if it's squaring up against a wall or the mission model. If the robot has weird things sticking out, you may damage them, or they can make the robot go astray, which would defeat the purpose of attempting to square up. If you want to square up against mission models, you need to make sure that the mission models are well secured to the map with lots of dual lock. And if they're not, your robot is going to push them over and take a penalty. They also need to have flat sides themselves. Irregularly shaped mission models are poor choices to score up on, as it's easy for the robot to not really, at a good frame of reference, scoring up on them. You should try to look for opportunities to square up, especially on the longer programs your robot will do. On very short ones, it's unnecessary, but the longer the programs go, the more error your robot is prone to have, so scoring up will help limit, but it will not completely eliminate the possible errors your robot can have. It's worth mentioning that scoring up is not good for the tires, and it's not good for the mat. Consistent rubbing against the mat with the tires will wear out both the tires and the part of the mat that the tires were contacting. So please don't overdo this. Don't have your robot say score up and try to do this for, say, 15 seconds, because you're going to damage the mat and you're going to leave little rubber bits everywhere. If you're able to use squaring up on a wide open area, you can square up against a mission model in the east-west direction or a wall in the east-west direction and then the, something similar on the north-south direction, and then you can actually have a very consistent position for the robot. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you learned something about a very common technique that a lot of FL teams use in great success. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and like the video and comment down below if you learned something and liked the video. And feel free to write an email to this email address down below if you want me to meet with your FL team. Thank you.